What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon Squad? I'm Ember the Blaze and I'm Glacier the Iceborn and we're Reaction Dragons. And if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. Doesn't cost a dime and helps us go full time. Just do it! Thanks so much for the support guys and what's on the menu for today Glacier. We're back with another episode of 1899 Season 1 Episode 3 The Fog. The Fog. Really enjoying this show so far. Is it foreshadowing though The Fog? Is it the fog like in our brains? That's what it's gonna be pretty much when we get dumbfounded. <laughs> it's just gonna be a fog where you can't see shit. I mean, yeah, I'm guaranteed <laughs> the fog is a metaphor for something or other. But I mean, a couple things, and we'll kind of like jump right into this. So one thing that you know, I'm personally not editing the show. We, we're, we're handing the reins over to Max because she's an amazing editor. So usually when when I edit shows, that gives me a chance to rewatch the show. So now I'm kind of having to rewatch it on my own time. And one thing that I noticed, and this is in the very first episode is one, I feel like that guy in the very beginning where they're on the psych ward may be Mora's father or he's a priest because the letter that she gets from Henry, he's pretty much saying, what our father uh, did to us, um, meet me in New York. And that was from her, and it said, you know, from brother. So I don't know if that's again, like a priest or that's just their father and or their father, I don't know if is, is like a major character point in the show, but I'm interested to see what happens there. Also, the scene where she's talking to Ada, who now we have to deal with, who's now dead, is just saying, I can't bear children. She's starting to have the visions of a beetle. Yep. She sees, I think she has force. I think maybe she can see into the future. Because during that vision, if you watch it again, it shows that little boy handing her the pyramid, which didn't happen until the end of that episode. And also, I think oh, it shows shit. her in bed with somebody else. I don't know if she's in bed with the, the captain, but she shows her, like, kind of, it seems like she's, she's having sex with somebody. So I'm wondering if these visions she's having is she can see into the future. Yeah. I kind of feel like that's the case because how else would she see the boy handing her the pyramid if that didn't happen yet? Well, she got to at least start picking up on that. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if she's like kind of intu intuitive to say like, oh, I saw this in my vision or I can kind of predict what's going to happen because I saw it in my vision. And Which kind of led me to believe. I don't, I don't know if it's that more so than she's having a dream. But someone in the comments brought up like, if everything on the ship is just a dream, like if, how is she able to have other characters like speak their native tongue unless she like speaks all the languages? Yeah, unless she knows all the languages, right. I remember I saw that comment too. Shout so, out to you. So yeah, I don't know. Anything is up in the air at this point, but I feel like one thing I'm kind of grasping to is the fact that she can see these visions that she's having is kind of like predicting or stuff that's going to happen in the future that hasn't happened yet. I guess the main thing is now that we ended the second episode with all those Fucking TV screen. Frame, TV screen. So who is running the show? Whose office was that? Who owns the ship company that has... Because uh, the ship that they're on is called the, yeah, the Caribus. And then you have the Prometheus. But they look identical as far as like they have the triangle symbols everywhere. Yeah, what's, the design and what's crazy with those TVs, it's not like hidden cameras. It's fucking weird. Because it's showing like their, their, like their point of view when they're like outside. Like they're, they're it's like... Any cameras it's, yeah, it reminds me of what's this, the architect in the Matrix. Yeah, like they can see everything, but it's just... From like maybe like a fourth plane, like a fourth dimension or some shit, kind of vibe I get. Because it yeah. can't just be like a hidden camera show. Yeah. But a hidden, yeah, hidden camera show. Yeah, it's ain't no big brother. But, <laughs> but yeah, I just want to kind of like get more layers peeled back. I want to see, again, what did Angel and Ramiro actually do? Because our vibe is kind of like they're lovers. Because Ramiro is actually Portuguese. So maybe he was a servant. They got caught doing the nasty by someone that wasn't supposed to see. And they got mm -hmm. murked. And now they're fleeing. Yep. You know, their and now you got, uh, and then you also, that, I just want to see, like you said, the aftermath of. Yeah. Um, How are they going to deal with Ada? Are they going to hide the body? Are they going to let the family know? Yep. Is there going to be a mutiny? We got to also, hopefully, what, what's going on with Jerome? After yeah, exactly. his ass whoop. Jerome's got, I mean, Jerome knows how to fight. He has that medal. He's being held captive by the other sailors. You know, those sailors also want to fucking sink the boat. Yeah, they want to see, they're about to mutiny because they, I don't think they want to go back to Europe either. Nope. And plus, they got, they got directions directly from the shipping company to sink the ship. I'm guessing that there's some interdimensional, some outer fourth dimensional beings that are running the show here, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah. I'm ready, Glitch. You ready? I'm ready. All right, guys, as usual, take a couple seconds, hit the like button down below, the engagement does lead to more views. As usual, you guys are fully watching something to this, much more of our content, including advanced episodes on our Patreon. Shout out to our distant patrons. Really appreciate you guys. Shout out to our editor, Max. With that being said, let's fucking go. Shit. So far, every episode has kind of started off with a nightmare, I think. Ooh. Yeah, whose nightmare is this? Oh, it's the geisha? Yep. yep. That's terrifying. God. So did this happen or is this a fear? So it seems right, like fear. every every nightmare's been something that's happened in their past. Yep, and pyramid in the eye. Wake up. 
And they spoke English to her. I feel like with the TVs and stuff, it zooms out. It's like a big ass Sim City. Yeah. Like you have characters. You just click. All right, you wake up. You do this today. Upside down triangle. Yeah. On her. So yeah. And then and then someone in the comments also mentioned that 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 beetle is like good luck in the Egypt. I forget what they said. It's a scarab, right? Yeah, scarab. Sorry, not beetle. The scarab is like good luck. Crazy though. That's why they're tying it to the pyramids. And we did remember the opening scene. The first episode was like... That is true. That made that some Egyptian... Uh, elements. Yeah, symbolism there. Yeah. So this, this episode is going to focus more on her secrets. So she was like in some kind of cargo box sinking... And I... Was this like... Is this reliving that first day before they decide to turn on? Because everyone seems like... And it's cause I'm just saying because she, she, she like always wears the green dress. Another thing that's weird, like when they're at dinner, they're all like sipping tea at the exact same time yeah, in unison. Yeah. That's why I thought it was a dream or a vision, like it's Shutter Island shit. But I do feel like somebody's controlling this from like a higher dimension. The mother and I were just discussing the unfortunate circumstance of the ship being turned around. And I was just telling her sometimes one has to adjust to a situation so that's unfolds. Was that her voice that said wake up? Mm, that's, not good, that's not a good point. Meet me in my room after breakfast. Didn't have it in the subtitles. Do we need subtitles for the language, or do they do that automatically? Forgot. They just do when we speak a different language. All right. Okay, yeah. Dinner. She answered my question right there. Yeah. Don't keep me waiting. <laughs> Tell me your story. You don't get nothing of that shit. <sighs> okay, so the mom regrets getting on the ship, so it seems like it was more Ling Yi's idea. No, we still got the ship. We haven't sank it yet. Oh, yeah, they're still telling the oh, and this is where if they're gonna sink the ship, this is where they'll take advantage of it. Yeah, in that fog. Shit. Yep. That's fucked up. Uh, they treat that lower class like shit. Hey, now. Oh no, that's the sister too. See what they do with the body. Skin is unbroken. Bones intact. Looks like natural causes to me. Possible stroke or heart attack. Okay. I've met her two days ago in third class. She looked healthy. There was nothing wrong with her. That's why I think it's a mistake for women to venture into the field of medicine. They're too attached to their emotions. With Ooh. Them. Ah! Get the fuck out of here. here. Abraham. Yeah, you're... Broke your fucking Walmart version of Abraham, fat ass looking self. It's like a woman hater. Ibal did us for you. Our captain. That's funny. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're slow because we can't see shit. And then, from one second to the next, this here can't not more navigate. Yeah, the compasses. Damn. Oh, the wind just stopped when they first got to the Prometheus. Is it still going to make them lead to New York? I need to show you something. Team Rasper said it was like a German and a driver. No, we didn't try to get off that. It seemed like he's 100% on board with the mutiny. He's still like kind of on the fence. like. But he's getting... He's... It belonged to my daughter. It was on the ship. I found it on the Prometheus. Show him your letter. They died in a fire almost two years ago. Damn. Our brain isn't always entirely reliable, and sometimes we misinterpret those impulses. Mm. Or in his you office. You can't just tell me, uh, maybe I'm going crazy. Also, there's a hidden passageway. Am I mad? There's a triangle, see? The ship company. I believe they're trying to hide something. I'm going back. To find the logbook. Oh shit. I'm coming with you. Damn. Let's go. See, that's why someone said, what's their connection? I mean, obviously they have common... Oh, shit. At least, I mean, they're towing the Prometheus. All they have to do is get on one of those rowboats and just row to the... Row, like, ten feet behind them. Fuck, though. Cause of mutiny. Yeah, let's look up the cast after this first. I wonder if this is going to, like... Damn. It's going to challenge their faith. Especially her. When they find out she's dead, bro, they're gonna get fucking livid. That's why I'm on board with a. Keep going. I forget the ball guy's name. They got his ass by Jerome, but you should tell at least the family. 
Oh shit. Damn. Name bang teng menga. Damn, I get naked in front of you. Yeah, I mean, she knows that she's not really Japanese. She's like, don't act like you don't understand me. Like she's speaking Cantonese right there. Damn. Okay, what do you need to look at? You're prettier than I thought. Lie down. She gonna set her up with Lucian. If my experience has taught me one thing, is that frustration and boredom are great motivators to seek out other pleasures. Wow. Sucks. She's gonna start whoring around to the passengers. This might hurt a little. Wow. You do not look like a gynecologist. I feel so violated. God. What is the end game for you? Like, what are you benefiting from this? Just money? Status? Are you still a virgin? Considering you're meant to be one of my best girls. Oh, oh shit. shit. I find that very surprising. She's a hymen. So did she kill the original geisha? Whoever she's supposed to be? Maybe. Does, and that's how she got on the ship? Damn, she is a virgin, so. I don't like to be deceived. I do like to be surprised. You truly are a rare bird, aren't you? And rarity has value. Well, she's probably like, oh, more profitable because you're a virgin. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta pay a lot more money for the first time. I hope you knew what this job was when you took the other girl's place. Damn, you're at 8 o'clock. What if it? the original girls only saw the beginning of the episode? She killed the original, threw her in the box. Oh, damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> and then so that's how she got on the ship. And she just happens to look exactly like her. And the address stimmt mit dem Schiff nicht. Wir sollten die Prometheus zurück. Damn. Und die Kerbe. Captain, you gotta give him something or else he's gonna fucking mute mute you in your ass. That's a fraud. They might leave their ass in the Prometheus. Yeah. Should give him some information. Like they might just cut the rope, leave the Prometheus stranded, and then. I'll bring his ass with me. You're coming with me. Please tell me he's getting on the boat. You can trust him to lower it after that. He just has mutiny written all over his face. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. That's so why he's he coming with me. Fuck that. Yeah, the, the, you're <laughs> fucking bald ass to get on this boat. No, we must not act. Don't do it, Connor. He said, I'm really thinking about it. I'm really thinking about it. Does he know something, though? That's the question. What's, like, what's that key do? Oh, the triangles. Oh shit, that's right. Is he reporting directly back to the company? Through this like secret messaging? Yeah, what does that mean? Or is that a passcode to... It's a password to yeah. override something. What do you know? What did that just do? That's right, because he got that triangle morse code. You forever. son of a bitch. Dude, I'll take my triangle. My pyramid. The fuck? What are you doing, little boy? Why did you take that shit under the bed? Oh, is there another secret passageway under the bed? Sounds what it sounded like. Damn. It was kind of you to take the boy. Do you have children? I, I can relate. Damn. The trigger again? A few years ago, I had a miscarriage. There were complications, and I couldn't have children anymore. Mm. Why are you so afraid to go back home? Because I lost everything. Yeah. Damn, I can. Mm -hmm. Trying to start what over. What if it's him that she hooks up with, and that's what she saw in her vision? Probably. Think about it. They both have loss. Yep. They both are vibing on like every level at this point. I'm telling you, what if that kid's their kid? That yeah. I want to put it past the fucking show here. dark. <laughs> now would go against the fact that she can't have children. Yep. You already had the kid because you already had him. Mm. What if she had a twin sister? What if she murdered her own sister? That's the thing. To take her place, maybe? I don't know. I don't think That's so. That's dark shit. I'm just thinking that the one, the girl in the box at the beginning may not have been her. 
Or it could well, be her because you, you said you just right there. You always put well, me yeah, in a box. Too. But why would like she feels trapped? So did, was like the, the box sinking just like a metaphor of her being trapped? There? Yeah, symbolism maybe. Yeah, going back to another box. And that box gets thrown in the water. <laughs> yeah, what if it was like future? Yeah, she's about to get drowned. Or she can see the future too. Well, it's a shitty future. Mm. You killed her. Oh, oh, shit. Right. oh, she's already in there. Come give me a hand to get rid of her. Yeah. Oh, no, you're right. Did it kill her? But it was not her sister. It's somebody else, probably. It's wherever the original gay show was supposed to be, but why did it look just like her? Unless she was, like, imagining what she went through. Unless it's, killed. like, dark where it's, she killed her. She's ended up killing herself. Could she be in two places at once? No. Oh, honey, hang up. So she's already dressed up. See, it looks just like her, though. No, there's, there's a real face, yeah. That's not her. So if it's not a, like a twin sister, then it's just someone who looked... Oh, oh. She woke up. Unless that was, she was... She killed herself, that's what I'm saying. Damn, Olaf found her. Oh, it's a gentleman. And again, I love how, like, two people that don't speak each other's language communicate with each other. They've done it yep. so many times, like, with different characters. Yep. Oh, like. Okay, boom. Damn. He understood the assignment. <laughs> he knew she yeah. was hiding. That's what I'm wondering. Can they know? Because he's like, or they just like, here, come with me. Like sign language, right? I'll grab your hand. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, not a piece of shit husband. Oh, he's going to tell him. I mean, he should, probably. Yeah, is he going to break the news? Don't be an asshole. You can tell the truth. Damn, he's telling the truth. Good. I mean, I'm kind of for this. They deserve to know. But is he doing this to cause a mutiny? Uh, well, he probably has rather bad intentions, but they deserve to know. Yeah, whether regardless of the reason, but... But it's still Damn, bringing her right to the body. God, that's awful. That's awful. Yeah, I feel like he's doing this to turn the passengers against the captain. He's gonna be like, the captain didn't want to tell you. Yeah, definitely. Captain. Was he gonna lie, the captain? Are you gonna say the captain killed her? He didn't throw him completely on the bus and then run over him. Yeah, that was really fucked up. I don't know. I saw the captain standing over her, and then he he was doing something like this, and then he walked off. I'm like, wow. This is something about Marta, and then start choking her. I don't know what happened. Fuck <laughs> off. Like, oh. I feel like if nothing else with their parents, it's gonna make them question God. Like, why would God let this happen? Oh, he's got it. Oh no. Damn. Okay. I mean, hey, he's the one that brought her to you, but I get it. He's probably looking. He's not like being an asshole about it. He like, yeah. has empathy. Damn, take all their hats and respect. Wow. Are that the rich class? Or is like middle class maybe? Yeah. Because no one's like coming on their free. But at the same time, now every other class are going to know what's going on. Like, wow. This little girl died. Oh. I'm still trying to shoot a shot. Tienes que dejar de reaccionar así o empezar a pensar que no te gusta. You're not wrong. Me obligar a no esconder quién soy toda mi vida. Yo no escondo right. máscara. Wink him off right Madre. here. Lo hizo por mí. Pero tú, tú no te puedes esconder. Well, I guess get your nut because you're not. You're about to have a shitty fucking. Oh damn! You're gonna get to dominate me. <laughs> But I was saying. No, I'm gonna do it to you. I don't know if we're gonna get him. walks in on this, like, you motherfucker. I killed somebody for you, bitch. <laughs> yeah, you brought me while your dead sister downstairs. Wow. <laughs> I've heard of a glory hole, but goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> They're running come on each other's clothes. Oh! Someone's gonna open that gate, like, I mean, good for him. Shit? Good for him to get it off now, because when you're about to get, you're about to not want any nuts. 
that mood's about to go to shit when you go downstairs and your sister's fucking dead. He's like, oh, fuck, I feel so relaxed. Anyways, anyone seen Ada? About that. They must have went a different way because how, how did that bald guy get around his brother? Her brother. Excuse me. The logbook. So that gate's locked. I thought that was the only way down there. Here. Well, the gate, the, the coroner's was on a different floor. Oh, okay. Because remember you were saying when she was walking through, it was upper class that she was walking past. So, so they, there's a different way to get up to the upper class, I'm guessing? Bro, it's like the ship looks identical. He's gonna see if that thing's here. Yeah, is it the same? That's it is. It's the same fucking ship. See, I mean, it is the same company. Maybe they design all the ships the same. With the same passageways and. Yep. But again, like we were saying, what if it is the same ship just from a different time period? That boy, that then that boy would already have to be on the other ship. There have to be two boys. Unless he's just like an anomaly. He's like, well, hey, I'm not even supposed to be here. Because <laughs> he went under the bed, too. I don't know what the fuck what he's doing. Yeah. Because if he somehow ends up over here, then it's like, what the yeah, fuck? Like, oh, there's a portal between the two ships. <laughs> which... Now, is that the same pyramid or a different one? No, it's the guy next door. Oh, yeah, Daniel. That's Daniel, right? I see a little beetle. Yep. Gonna unlock the door for you. Yep. Hey. Damn. Doesn't even, like, all he does is walk underneath and unlocks. That's crazy. So that's how it happened in the first episode. You all right, now, how the fuck do you guys know each other? Are you both the same person? <laughs> well, the kid picked it up. Oh, shit. Yeah, what do you ask him? Did you find it? Why would they build a tile shaft down there? It doesn't make sense. This side, the triangle. It's the ship company symbol. Yep. So we got that right. Makes sense wherever you're, that's everywhere. There's something else they changed. Follow me. I wonder what that code is. We still have to go back to that code, whatever it is. Yeah, where else Connor at? She's like, I don't know what you just said, but okay. Yeah, like. Oh, that's, I, all, if you take the stuff that I was it's like, uh, okay, I don't know what you're saying, but. Oh. Yeah, well, she looks down. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's something else. Okay. But it's. Oh, damn. The fog's penetrating. That's a crazy shot. Seen some shit. Fall off the boat. Okay. Did you just cross over to another dimension? Another vision. She's having visions. What the hell is it like all distorted? Okay, never mind. It's just a picture. She's like back in her own head. Like but it's like the past. same thing as the captain. Because the captain had the vision of seeing his house burn down again. Yeah, they're back on that whatever boat they were on. Um, the first episode, where she's in the fucking psych ward, not her. But. Our main character. So they're at, oh look, I saw the triangle made out of wood. Is that the original girl? Yeah. See, okay, so they're not twins, but are they sisters? Yeah, they're having to like yeah. face their demons. I <laughs> Yeah, we're living it. Guilt. Fucking friend. Yeah. Was she jealous because she was stuck here? Uh, oh, yeah, because she poisoned her. Yeah, yeah. I saw my mother. 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 Oh, like roofies, yeah. almost. Yeah. Gave her too much. She OD'd on it. Wow. Damn. Wait, so the scene where she's in the box, her re like, re like living as she was in the box out of guilt because if Meimei was dead, then how could she have been like screaming for help? He doesn't understand. He doesn't, but you, just, you can feel the energy like, oh, she's in pain. <laughs> Hold a second, I'm just gonna be here for, be here for you. Oh my God, what's up? What the hell? 
This shit was crazy. All right, man. I hope that that nut was worth it because you're about to get some bad fucking news. I mean, it's not because you got servo jerk. It's not like karma for that. But it's, <laughs> like, it's not karma for that. No, it's not. But he's gonna be in a world of shit. Like his day probably started out okay, and then that. It's gonna be shitty. I mean, to say the least, shitty. Yeah. Oh, well. Do not tell me you're getting jacked off. But if she's if he was supposed to look after her, then yeah, they're gonna kind of put it on him. Like, where were you? You're supposed to watch your sister. Is this fly still down? Look at her, I thought she was looking down. God. Damn. God. Right there, she looked familiar. Yeah. That face that she made. Oh, he's still down there. So, what's your old play? And clean up yourself, man. You just like walking around with that shit on your face. I wear like a battle scar. Oh no! Oh shit! Shame. The same shit happened on the other boat. That's. I don't know what they do with the bodies. But the same shit. All thousand passengers. Because like that motherfucker crazy. came from that boat. But who took them out? Was that Connor that did that shit? No, Daniel. Probably. Daniel's just, yeah. He's murking everybody. To the bodies. Or what happens to the bodies? Because obviously, they haven't found any bodies. Until what they are about to. The infirmary, burnt. That's too, they could put them in the coal. And the fire. They put this here as well. Escaping. It's supposed to measure the steam pressure and send signals up to the bridge. Carboros has never worked. You think they lied? You put it here for something else? Doesn't explain where everyone went. Up to 900 degrees Celsius. The cremator generates that kind of temperature. Yeah, we could definitely burn with some bodies. So Damn. Burn some bodies. They're gonna cause a mutiny. Like, bro, there's bodies dropping. Get the fuck out of here. Get that. Sh get rid of that ship. Oh. oh shit. Here we go. Well, this will tell us, yeah, if it's the same boat, same people. What's... What's that? What's that? Is that Mora's bo book? Passenger list of the Prometheus. Oh, shit. Let's see if any of the names match. Or if Nina's on the <gasps> list. Is he going to show her? What are you doing? You know something? Oh, oh you... F God! It's Call Henry him out. On the list. It's Henry on the list. It's Nina on the list. Tell me! Are you on the list? Found something. No. Wow. Secret, 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 secret. Sorry, we can't reveal it to the people watching the show. Yeah, we have to let them squirm for another episode, couple of more. Don't worry. When, when we yell cut behind the scenes, I'll tell you because you already know because you read the script. Fuck you! Wow, so much cool. shit is happening this episode. What the Gosh, hell, hey, both of them though. I guess that's karma. Oh, you don't want to tell me that you have a letter too that's like mine? Eat me. Yeah. I'm done scolding me because I'm going to run off again. Don't you think you'd know all that? They're going to go. 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 God. Damn. Or is she just gonna own it, own her demons? At this point, I did what I did. That, way, that, that person they killed, to death wasn't in vain. Like, oh, my, pff, better do something, even though I don't deserve it. But I'm guessing that Lucien's gonna be the first what's customer. What's wrong with him? Does he have like maybe that? What's that disease that the Back to the Future guy has? Parkinson's. I don't know. His hand, his hand's like shake. Look at it. Oh, did he get a letter too? Let me see the it's different envelope. No, or notes. Blue seal around it. Oh yeah, it is blue seal. What is that medicine? Is it a bullet? What is that? Maybe that's why his hands are shaking. He's like an addict. That yeah, or it's for his medication. Or yeah, or he just has like yeah, some kind of condition. I'll be leaving. I don't know why she's upset though. Because like, Mance is wearing something different though. So it's not everybody that's wearing the same shit. She has the same earrings, but... Okay. Yep. Yep, Lucien. 
She's like, well, here I go. Lose my virginity to this asshole. Oh, this is for me, me. Well, what the fuck are you doing? I got paid is what I'm doing. Counting my money. Count my money. Got a problem with it, Ember? I didn't think so. Gonna make my stacks up here. You gonna judge my line of business? Well, of course you got a letter, too. Probably Daniel sent a letter. Who sent yeah, the Yeah, whoever's running this shit sent every one of them a letter, I bet. He's about to take her virginity. Is she gonna find that shit that he kicked under the table? Yep. What is that? Medicine or drugs? Is it like opium? No, for the poppy? The fuck is it? <laughs> it helps him get up, maybe. Either it helps with his handshake. Maybe that's why he can't get up. Hi. T'es pas obligé de faire ça, c'est pas ce que je veux. J'aimerais juste rester ici un petit moment. Okay, Spion. Je pensais avoir droit à une vie différente. Tout ça n'a plus aucune importance maintenant. Ça dure jamais longtemps. Never last long. God, it's a seizure? Yep. Don't worry, it never lasts long, but I'm just gonna go into full on seizure. Holy shit. Yeah, he's got a disease or something. Jeez. What is it called? El, 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 epilepsy? Maybe epilepsy. Epilepsy. Yeah. I remember one of my friends, well, friend of a friend that passed away early though, young age, like in her 20s. Jeez. That's crazy. Are you alright? Come on, man. Tell me something. He saw something that spooked the shit out of him on a piece of paper. He had to keep it himself. I don't know, tell anyone where we were. We have no three other Leichen in the Besatzungsraum found. Fuck! Genau wie bei dem Mädchen. Hast du selbst gesagt, irgendwas stimmt nicht mit dem Chef. Du hast den Captain gehört. Wir warten. Damn, he's holding out loyal though, Conor McGregor. No. But I mean, think about that story that Ada was saying in the first episode about how like they like killed a whale or some shit, and then they, there was a curse put on the ship, and then they were taken by the shadows. Yep. Damn. Oh no. Franz is taking matters in his own hands. Fuck no. you. I'm the captain now. Look at me. Unserem Schiff sterben Menschen wie die Fliegen. Be fair. Ich sage, wir kämpfen. Bring die Kerberos zurück auf Kurs. Shit. No. I mean, I get where he's coming from. He's not wrong to feel this way. No, he's not, because captain's dark. captain's walks away from. He's like, oh, I said what I I have spoken. Yeah, I've spoken. Disappears. Like, you gotta do a better job of maintaining this shit. Oh, I wanna go too. Hey, you, Oleg! I did it best before this captain! I don't know. You want a captain. Damn! Welcome to the future. <laughs> is that Sorry, a callback? Fuck you! Das ist Wand! Oh, it's with Jerome. No, the captain's done. The captain has no army. Oh, that's who's drawing. Camilo. Come this time, Did he draw that? Or? Yeah, he drew that way. Remember, your friend knows that. Oh. He's gonna start being the wolf instead of the sheep. Tú eres el culpable de todo lo que he hecho. Nada de esto hubiera ocurrido. Tú y yo no hubiéramos ocurrido. What happened? Yo maté a un hombre. Damn. Le arrebaté a alguien su puta vida y ahora me he visto con sus ropas y todo por ti. Damn, just like the girl. No te puedes controlar. God, so you killed the priest? All because you can't control yourself. ¿Quién soy? ¿Y tú eres quién eres? Nada va a cambiar eso. Ramiro's already killed once, so don't underestimate. He'll kill your ass too. It's all killed the boy with Scar. De lo correcto. Avisar al capitán. Oh shit. So at least Captain's got one ally. You better hide. Technically he's got two allies, cause, but Oleg's locked up. Captain's fucked. <laughs> and what does he have? He has no weapons. I mean, he has, the, he has a gun. Yeah, but all of them? Well, yeah, they have rifles. He's Passenger list, here we go. Yeah. Oh, Miss Morris Franklin. Morris French. Mrs. Morris French. But Morris on that list. What the hell? So. 
which would lead me to believe that she was in that infirmary. She was. Get away from me. I don't trust your beetle or scarab yeah, ass. Your beetle juice ass out here. He's a deeply hurt man whose judgment has been clouded by his past experiences. I love someone too. Yeah, that's so cool. I told you, people aren't going to sit still and just let it happen. Maybe she knows a passage within a passage. Yeah. No, she's definitely gonna go warn the captain. Father Ramiro, eles querem virar o barco de volta para os Estados Unidos. Estão armados. I don't understand what you're saying. Oh shit! I understand that. Well, secret passageway time. Oh shit, it's too late. Oh shit. God! They got another entrance they can come through? I'm gonna let him in. Damn, Conor McGregor stayed loyal. Yeah, he stayed loyal. Uh, who did you lose? Who the hell are you? So, fuck you, you don't get to know that. You don't ask questions. Anyways, you can ask my scarab. Wait. Oh, of course, a little triangle game. Oh, and it's oh, activating oh. that? What does that do? Oh, shit. You little fucker. That doesn't look like technology that would exist in 1899. So what is that going to do, though? Is that going to turn on the furnaces? Oh, shit! Oh, I control the fog. Eat me. It's, no, you made his, the ship go away. Yeah, I control the fog. No, their ship just teleported. It looked like the fog just got sucked in. No, the ship. Or did the ship teleport? The ship teleported. Uh, so all your theories. That was the core uh, that. I turn your. Th okay, you got a theory over here. You got a spaghetti on the wall here, and go fuck yourself. <laughs> Eat me! <laughs> Holy. And I can't stress this enough. Shit. Uh, the fog, at least you think. Like, oh, like I told you it was gonna be in the fog your brains up, or you think you know some shit's going on, and then just like that. My brain got infused with fog. Yeah. The, the last scene, he's like, any, mini, miny. Well, I control the fog, and fog also teleports uh, the corpus. But don't think he misjudges. We, me and Ember might be onto something. I feel like we are onto something, but again, it's probably just like a drop. <laughs> what we know, what we don't know is the ocean. I mean, it's the same thing we thought with Dark when we used to go down and we're like, yeah, it's this, this, and that because their face design, the same way he curls his lips, and they're like, oh, no. When we thought, and we I have a feeling it's like, like we did with Dark, it is we probably accidentally are getting like big reveals right, and then other shit, and we're like, Oh yeah, we're way off. Way to fuck off. But, okay, so this is what we learned in this episode, as far as like the questions I got answered. Okay, so we find out about what Ling Yi, how she got on the ship. So the beginning of the episode, so I feel like I feel like each episode is gonna have some kind of nightmare about like each of these characters facing yep. whatever they're running from, whatever their demons are. Yep. And I think they're gonna wake up and have a little triangle in their eyes. So we get what it looked like was Ling Yi trapped in this box that's sinking to the bottom of the ocean. But I guess what happened is. She, I don't know if that was her friend. It was her friend May. I'm guessing a friend because she said my mom, not our mom. Her name's May May or May. So I'm guessing yeah. her friend was a concubine, whatever you want to call it. And she was getting ready to go to America on the ship. Ling Yu maybe was jealous because she was still stuck. I'm guessing they were in China. She just hated her life and maybe her and her mom didn't have anything. And she was jealous of May May. And so the same thing that her mom used to use to drug men, she put it in May May's tea, but she put too much of it in there and May May overdosed and died. Yep. So I'm guessing all those scenes were, cause I kept saying like, it looks like Ling Yi's in that box. I was thinking that, oh, maybe she had a twin and she killed her twin and took her place. But I think it's more so that she killed May May before she even put her in the box. She just put her in the box and dumped the box to like get rid of the body and then took her place on the ship. And then all the scenes where she was crying for help was maybe just like, she was imagining what Mamie was going through. Like, oh right. shit, what if she actually did wake up and then she drowned to death and that's when that's on me and that's my guilt. Yep. And I guess like by her going into the fog or the fog going into her, however you want to call it, was kind of her facing that reality and kind of just owning up to what she did. Yeah, At she's... that point she's like, all right, I'm ready. And she went to go to Lucian's room. Yep, it was like her episode to have visions because Captain went, had the same visions too. Yeah, the, the fire. So, so that's kind of where she's at. And now that the Madam Wilson knows that she's not who she says she is, but it's almost like an opportunity where she's like, oh wait, you're a virgin. So she's probably thinking her head dollars like, oh shit, you know how much I can yeah. charge for the like first person that can take your virginity? Well, she's still a virgin because homeboy had a seizure. Yeah, Lucien, has got his own demons because he didn't he didn't like sleep with, he just wanted, I guess, her company. 
but he keeps having these like hand tremors and he just went into a full on seizure. So I was thinking at first maybe he was an addict and that was like withdrawal and that's because he had the little vials yep. of whatever that clear liquid is. He was trying to like get it hit and when he doesn't take the drug, he has like seizures and, and shakes and stuff. But it could be the possibility like maybe he had epilepsy or he has Parkinson's, some kind of disease, that, like a, some kind of neurological disease that causes shakes and seizures and the, yep. and the vials are actual like medicine to stop or like actually maybe like control the, the side effects or the symptoms there yeah is. so daniel has a little puzzle piece that activates that because um with the captain the captain was saying that little lighting device was on both ships but the one on the on the kerberos never worked right i guess what, what do you say it's supposed to like send signals to the to the steam pipe, the yeah. steam uh, decks or whatever. Well, that's what they say it's for. Yeah, the Prometheus, it, it worked, I guess, and um, the Kerberos never worked. But obviously, at the end of the episode, Daniel activated that shit, and the fog immediately like got sucked in with the with the Kerberos to another wherever the fuck it is, another dimension, another yeah. I guess we'll find out next episode where he got sucked in. But my thing is also why are more bodies dropping like flies? Yeah, and obviously he's he's it seems like he's the one that's dropping these bodies, but there's no evidence as to how they die. They just kind of like, just, and they all like lay flat, like in the same, almost like the same position. And then Captain found the list, of the boarding list on the Prometheus. And we realized that more Franklin's name was on that list. And then him and Dan Daniel and the boy, I don't know if we got the boy, we haven't got the boy's name, but they're in cahoots. Cause they're he's, like, he's like, oh, did you find it? And then the boy had found some secret passages under the bed. He goes, you assume I did. I went under the bed because I'm scared of monsters. I think maybe. You can't assume there's a passageway. I'm, I'm not assuming it's spaghetti. Well, I'm going off what I know. So. <laughs> Here's kind of like from for theory time. This is kind of like our theory. So last episode, Daniel had a picture of Mora, and it was like a black and white picture. And we we're like, oh, did he steal that from her room, or did he bring that from the Prometheus? Well, now we know that Mora's name is on the Prometheus guest list. So my thing is, and in this episode, he said I lost someone too. So what if Mora was on the Prometheus and she's already dead? Obviously, you can't tell her that because that just sounds crazy. Yep. And he's trying to, he needs her for something. And you said that she had a vision of being in bed with a guy. She had a vision of being in bed. I was thinking maybe it's the captain because he had dark hair, but it's probably Daniel. And, and she even said, oh, I know you, like when they ran into each other at one point. Yeah. And she also said in this episode that she had a miscarriage, which is to believe that she was with someone and got pregnant and the pregnancy just failed. So again, I'm feeling like these are on different planes of like time and space. So what if maybe that hasn't happened yet? Yeah. I don't know. That's the thing. Like the the way the time is, I don't know where they're going with like. It doesn't seem like. Time and the and the scare and the scarab is in that vision too, which would mean it's probably more likely is Daniel because he has that little fucking bug. Yeah. So it's just crazy. So essentially, whatever that device is can control the fog, and the fog not only can like connect you to your nightmares or your dreams or whatever, like it did with Ling Yi, but it can also teleport you to a completely different plane. So it's further like confirms my suspicion that there's an ulterior dimension, like a fourth, like a higher plane of existence. That's yep. at play here, and whoever's pulling the strings is looking down on all these little, little characters, characters, like Sims, and playing like a game for their own entertainment. I just don't know the why, the connection, the what, when, or how. And I'm, I don't know. I still feel that the Prometheus and the Kerberos are not just like the same ship in design, but the same ship literally, but from alternative realities. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting. I guess we'll find out as they like. I don't know. At some point, if someone can get back to the Prometheus, which I guess isn't going to happen anytime soon, to yeah. see what other names or what other paraphernalia or bodies that are attached to people that are still alive. On the yeah, get more of that guest list. Yeah, because we didn't. The only name I noticed was more Franklin. Unless there's other names on there that we missed out on that you guys picked up, but that's the only name that I was able to pick out. But crazy shit. And we also had the shit about Henry Sinkerton, how he essentially had these three German-made ships. I'm guessing two of them are the ones we've already seen. Does that mean there's a third ship at play? Right. Or those three completely different ships? Do you think it's going to be the, on the next episode, who's going to have the nightmare and the dream sequence at the beginning of the episode? Probably Romero. I think Romero or Lucien. Yep, one of them too. Of like they both had like Because they kind of had like more shine this episode, but not as much. I feel like yep. they're going to get more fleshed out in the next episode. Um, other than that, yeah, the show's amazing. I love the intrigue. It got us putting our detective hats on, and yeah. I feel like we're hot in some areas, probably freezing cold in others, but came to see more Fox Quicker. Yeah, another entertaining episode. Like I said, me and Amber usually probably do a few episodes a week just to get a, give it our 110%. I feel like any more than that's overdose. Yeah. So shout out to all of you that binge watch. I think one of the commenters said they binge watch it twice already. So shout out to you um, because. Yeah, I mean, these are one of the shows, including Dark, that you probably have to watch through two or three times. And you, even the fourth or fifth time, you still probably find shit. Dragon Certified. Yeah, I feel like this is a show that you kind of almost have to let it marinate. Each episode marinate 
before you even get to the next episode because it's so dense. There's so much like symbolism and metaphors and visual storytelling. But again, one thing I do really appreciate is how they have these characters that don't speak each other's language communicate with each other. Like to this episode, we got Olek and, and Lee. Uh, Ling Yi were yep. able to connect. And then also more of Angel and uh, Crestor. Yep. Because sometimes it's just nonverbal communication, like body language. I can't tell what you're saying, but I can tell you're stressed out or you're in distress or you need help. So just trying to, you know, Olek was just kind of being there for Ling Yi. Yep. And, and yeah, I just want to peel back these, these amazing onion layers. And what can I say? Dragon certified? What can I say? And there you have it, guys. Another one in the books. Real questions. What do you guys think on their droughts will land? Are we warm? Are we cold? Is it kind of like dark? We're accidentally getting things right and then missing other things completely. Like, what the hell are you guys thinking? Um, for those of you that knows what happens, I mean, is it just flip everything we know in our head? I still feel like there's a connection between like the mysteries of the human brain, the mysteries of the ocean. Mm. They talk about how the brain is deeper than the sea. So I feel like that's coming into play. Um, and yeah, I mean, any other Easter eggs that are not spoilery, let us know down below. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And if you like what you see, you can check out more videos right now. But until next time, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.